Hey everybody, it's Holly here today for Your Next Stamp. I'm going to be using this Fall of Color stamp set along with the Stitch Rectangle die and some Gold Nugget gumdrops. So we're going to get started with a piece of Bristol cardstock and I'm going to use the largest Stitch Rectangle die. And I'm just going to run that through my Big Shot. And then after I have that die cut, I'm going to go ahead and hit it with an anti-static powder bag because I'm going to be doing some heat embossing with some gold embossing powder from WOW. I'm going to go ahead and put the piece of paper into my Mini Misty. And I'm going to stamp the sentiment from the Fall of Color stamp set with the Versamark ink. And I'm just using a grid here to make sure everything's lined up. You can download this grid for free from the My Sweet Petunia website and get it printed out onto a piece of acetate or transparency. So once I have that stamped, I'm going to go ahead and stamp it twice actually because my Versamark's a little on the dry side. I'm going to go ahead and heat set that with some gold embossing powder from WOW. And I'm going to heat set that off camera. I'm going to go ahead and add an additional piece of Bristol cardstock into the Mini Misty and do the same thing with the anti-static powder bag. And I'm going to stamp two of the leaves and the acorn image from the stamp set. And then I'm going to go ahead and stamp them with the Versamark and then I'm going to heat, some, heat set them with the same uh, gold embossing powder. So now that everything's all heat set, I'm going to go ahead and start working on my coloring. So I'm going to use some Distress Oxide ink. So I'm starting with Salty Ocean and I'm smooshing that onto my craft mat. And then I'm spritzing it with water and then I'm flipping the panel down onto the color. And just doing that a few times until I get the coverage that I want. I'm going to go ahead and, I'm going to go ahead and do the same technique with the leaves as well. So I'm going to use Spiced Marmalade, Wild Honey, Fossilized Amber, Fired Brick, Vintage Photo, and walnut stain. So I'm going to go ahead and put each of the inks down, spritz it with water, and then dab the image into it to add my coloring. With the acorn, I wanted a little bit of a darker top to it, so I went ahead and picked some of that walnut stain up with a paintbrush and dropped that color in and let it sit for a few minutes so it'd be a little bit darker. And then on the one leaf, you can see I added two of the colors together. So this is kind of a fun way to add color to your images. So now that I have color on all my panels, I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of water by flicking the end of the sprayer nozzle here into the thing. And then I'm going to go ahead and heat set that with my heat tool instead of picking up the extra splatters with a paper towel like you normally would do. I'm just going to heat set that with my heat tool and that's going to help give that oxidized effect that these inks create. And then once I'm done doing that, I'm going to go ahead and fussy cut each of the images out. And then I'm going to take a paper towel and run it across the embossed images to make sure I've picked up all the, any excess distress ink that might be laying on there. Because this is a pigment based ink, you don't want it to smear on the rest of your project. And then I went ahead and created a 110 pound white card base. And I'm just going to go ahead and adhere the panel to the top of that directly with some tape adhesive. You want to make sure you cover the pan panel very well with your tape because it warps a little bit with doing all the heating of uh, the embossing back and forth. So once I have that panel down there, I'm going to go ahead and add some foam adhesive to the back of each of my images and then I'm going to lay those out onto the front of the panel. And then I'm going to take a paintbrush with some clear water and I'm going to color in the little heart that's in the center of the acorn image. And then I'm going to pick that excess of water up with a paper towel. And what I'm doing is just trying to lift some of the color back out uh, because I want to add some red to the center of the heart there.
I'm gonna go ahead and add some red stickles um, to the center of the heart there, just to give it a little bit of red effect. It wasn't really what I was going for, but I kind of like it, so we're just gonna go with it. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add some gold nugget gumdrops, and that pretty much finishes up my card for today. So thanks for watching. I'll see you again next week for another Throwback Thursday. Be sure to head over to the blog for some more inspiration from the team. Have a great week. Thanks. Bye-bye.